Let's do this. Here's an easy way to stuff your stocking with a little cheer. It's called the wooden stocking hanger. It should take less than an hour, and by the end, you're sure to have a couple stockings hanging above the mantle with care. Let's do this. Here are the tools and materials you're going to need, all available, of course, at your nearest Home Depot. For materials, you'll need a half inch, two foot by four foot plywood panel, one six foot, one inch by four inch common board, an eight fluid ounce bottle of wood glue, a pack of one inch nails, and your choice of paint or stain. Note, these materials are enough for two stocking hangers. Optional hanging materials, a three pack of 20 pound steel sawtooth ring hangers with nails. For tools, you'll need a table saw or circular saw, a jigsaw, a hammer, clamps, a tape measure, a yardstick, a pencil, latex gloves, a sanding block, paint brushes or staining rags, and of course safety goggles. Note the estimated cost of this project is $40, not including the tools. To draw the stocking shape, use the yardstick to lightly draw a 6 inch by 6 inch grid onto the 24 inch by 48 inch plywood panel. This will help make drawing the stocking shape easier. The neck of the stocking is one grid square wide, the length is three grid squares long, and the foot is two grid squares wide at the bottom. Following these guidelines will make room for two shapes. Next. Clamp down the plywood to the work surface and use a jigsaw to cut out both of the stocking shapes. And remember, when it comes to cutting out the shape, position the project so that it overhangs the work surface to allow the jigsaw blade to cut without any obstructions. Lastly, take the six foot one by four, measure it into four three and a half inch pieces, two four and a half inch pieces, and finally, two six inch pieces. Then cut all the pieces with your circular saw. These pieces will be for both stocking hangers. Sand any rough edges and pencil marks with a sanding block. If you plan on painting or staining your wooden stocking hangers, this would be the time to paint the shape while you build the storage box. Now that the wood is cut, it's time to build the storage box. The storage box consists of four pieces, the six inch long front piece, the two three and a half inch side pieces, and the four and a half inch bottom piece. To start, apply a bead of glue to the edge of the side piece. Place the bottom against the glue and nail it into place. You can use one of your other pieces to help stabilize it. Repeat this step for the other side piece. Now that you have this U-shaped frame, finish up by running a bead of glue along the inside edges of the frame. Then place the front piece on top of the glue and nail it into place. You can paint the box and let it dry while you repeat the same steps for making the other hanger. To attach the storage box to the stocking, place the storage box face down with the opening of the frame facing upwards. Place glue along the edges and take the stocking cutout, paint side down, and place it on top. Secure into place with nails. Now you can hang your wooden stocking hanger in a variety of ways, like using sawtooth ring hangers or a picture hanging kit. Place whatever you'd like inside the storage box and you're good to go. Sit back and enjoy your wooden stocking hangers this holiday season. For even more hands-on help and projects, go to homedepot.com slash workshops and sign up for a free in-store workshop near you. See you next time.